Continuing through the uh, 9 o'clock hour, tour stop number three on our uh, Back the Blue tour started up in Clay County back in June. We've been doing these every couple of months, and it is uh, great to be here in Prairie Village. We now have Captain Ivan Washington, 20 years of service with the Prairie Village Police Department. Um, Ivan, thanks for being here. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having us. So you've done it all. Uh, We were talking a little bit about you becoming a cop, school resource officer, undercover. You're originally from Chicago, so I'm sure you could go through a a litany of stories over your career, but uh, just take us through 20 years ago to today, some of the unique challenges in law enforcement that you guys faced that maybe weren't prevalent, you know, two decades ago that has uh, made the job a little bit more difficult for you. Well, I would say uh, initially when I got hired, there was, wow, 100, 150 people trying to apply for two open positions. Um, That's no longer a thing. Um, So hiring is a challenge right now, Um, but we're trying to find ways to Um, find a positive resolution to that Mm -hmm. that challenge right now. So you're involved with the hiring of basically everybody here. So whether it's cops, I mean, admin side, you're, you're involved with all of that. Correct. What, uh, how do you, how do you make sure, you know, you got to get the numbers up. You want morale to be good. You guys aren't working overtime like crazy, Mm -hmm. but you don't want to lower your standards. Right. So what do you do? So that one, that's for us. It's an easy answer. Um, I like the way Prairie Village operates. Um, We would rather do with less, and lower standards and, and bring in people that don't fit our culture. Yeah. I believe culture is beyond important. Um, if you have good culture, uh, the, the public, the community that we serve, um, it benefits them as well. Mm-hmm. Um, if you bring the wrong people in, just trying to put people in seats, at some point it comes back to haunt you. It can backfire yes, pretty absolutely. easily. Yes. I mean, th- there's always this perception of, um, you know, you, you, you want to get the numbers up for the cops, but like you said, you get a bad one in there and then you have the cop that ends up you know, setting the whole uh, industry back a couple yeah. of years, right? Yes. It just takes one of them. Yes. We, we like, uh, I mean, honestly, um, the people we hire, we want people that are, can show empathy. Yeah. Um, they can put themselves in the other person's shoes. They can articulate themselves. They understand community, and policement, community policing, community engagement. Um, if they see grandma struggling with her groceries, we kind of expect you to stop your car and go help grandma get the groceries in the house. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the expectations here. Mm-hmm. But with that said, it's also a dangerous job. We still have crime and um, criminal activity, so we have to wear both hats. Yeah, right? and you got to think about, you know, Officer Oswald and Fairway right Absolutely. down the street, right? Absolutely. I mean, you know, people think about these departments, and maybe it's not Kansas City, Missouri, but every day, I mean – that can happen, even in Fairway or Prairie Village. Absolutely. The job is still the job. We mm-hmm. just have to be mindful between the guardian warrior uh, mentality. Yeah. So uh, for you, I mean, uh, looking at what you're talking about right now, recruitment, uh, you don't have a residency requirement. We just had uh, Officer Stetzel on. He lives um, on the other side of state line. Right. And is that something that is – Kansas City, Missouri dropped it. Explain to me why you think it's just an antiquated idea in general, that whole residency requirement. Well, I think as law enforcement continues to evolve, um, so does the, some of the thoughts and the processes and the theories. Uh, many moons ago, there was a thought that law enforcement should reside where they actually police. There's some good as well as some challenges there. Um, for me, one of the main challenges would be, um, for example, my kid, uh, my son plays lacrosse and my daughter plays soccer. Um, so when I'm off, and I'm just at the lacrosse game, or I'm at my daughter's soccer game, I would prefer just to be Ivan. And mm-hmm. I'm just a dad or a father or a husband. Um, but if I turn around and someone says, hey, Captain Washington, well, I'm off with my family right now. So mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what I'm turning into. Mm-hmm. Is this going to be a positive experience, or was, was that a negative experience with this person? Um, and I just I think it allows you to separate and have a good work life balance, um, put you in a good mindset, a good mind frame as we continue to evolve. Uh, mental health is also a vital thing that we're mindful of. And that's also a part of it. And it's not like, you know, you get officers who care less about their job in Prairie Village because they don't have a zip code of Prairie right. Village. I mean, that's uh, I've been over here over 20 years and I am pot committed for the city of Prairie Village and Mission yeah. Hills. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm truly passionate about what I do and where I work. Uh, but I'm also passionate about my family life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, your time, uh, let's go back to your school resource officers d- days. Uh, how long ago was that? Oh, my gosh. That was a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 13, 14 years ago. But I had a blast. That yeah. Was one of my, yeah, that was a cool time. That was a cool time. So, I mean, that job in particular, that's also changed a lot. I mean, yeah. we think about it from the standpoint of the – you know, the horrible tragedies that can happen mm-hmm. and where those – we had a school resource officer well, in Olathe yeah. that was uh, involved in that whole deal a uh, year and a half, two years ago maybe. Right. Uh, 
that's the bad side of it, but there's a great side of it too. You're around these kids sometimes more than some of their parents are. So what does that entail? So for me, uh, the guys here actually gave me quite a hard time. I had a blast. I yeah. mean, we had um, Madden tournaments. I played basketball. I, I was constantly around the kid in the shop class. Basically, you want to create an environment where the kids are not afraid or uncomfortable speaking with someone in the uniform. Mm-hmm. And that happens with the SRO and DARE programs being in the school. If you put law enforcement around kids in a positive um, environment, it just helps relax the uh, when it's time for them to actually ask for help. And that, to me, can lay the foundation for, I mean, their entire lives. Yeah, that translates to adult. As yeah, well. yes. it does, right? Yes, I mean, i got to believe that if yes. they have a good experience with their school resource officer. Absolutely. What, um, what about your time undercover? What was, what was that like? Uh, as crazy as it sounds, I actually had fun. I'm originally a Chicago kid. Um, it's dangerous. I didn't mm-hmm. speak a lot about it with my wife, um, but it was a necessary evil. Um, there's... Criminal, al- I mean, it's just criminal activity, even here in Prairie Village and the surrounding areas. And you have to have people willing to uh, invest in that space as well. How much time did you spend doing that? Uh, maybe two or three years. So is that yeah. like, uh, they say that when you're, a pre- when you're president, every year you're in office takes four years off your life. I mean, you age four years. Yeah. Do you age being an undercover? Well, when you say undercover, ours is not, I wouldn't. Take the movie. Yeah, philosophy. yeah. Take the movie yeah, philosophy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. If that's your vision. Yeah, take that, yeah. Let's just remove. That yeah, yeah. Take, right so now. take yeah. the movie vision yeah, out not, of it. Take yeah. Training Day. Yeah, away yeah. yeah. Right? yeah it's, it's oh, not Training Day. Okay. Uh, but it is a good time, and it provides an opportunity to help reduce cr- criminal activity in mm-hmm. and around Prairie Village. And that's that's the purpose of it. That is the goal. So, uh, speaking of Prairie Village, I mean, you know, uh, people think of Prairie Village, but then they realize what it's surrounded by. You know, you got the state line. You got Casey. You know, you do have crime that probably filters through here Absolutely. more than more than people probably realize Absolutely. right yes we have our well, knock on wood we don't have a lot of violent crime but there is crime here yeah um, and we have to constantly remind our officers um the job is still the job that's the best way to say it um you have to be mindful of your surroundings you have to stay you know attentive mm-hmm. um you have to be mindful of the people that you're speaking with but with that we don't want to be too aggressive either so we're mm-hmm. trying to find that balance and that's why hiring is so important because we're trying to hire a certain person can it be tough because like you said i mean human nature may set in well prairie village is prairie village but Mm -hmm. as we kind of alluded to earlier you know the officer oswald thing was just uh looked like a a traffic deal and then it goes south i mean there was the cop in north kansas city that was a traffic stop um so these things you don't know what you're walking into on these traffic stops right so i would say when you're in a actually just the job itself um the frequency of the criminal activity might change, but the violence and the chance of something bad happening is the same no matter where you are. If you wear the uniform, the challenge exists. What has made it more complicated? Does it feel, and this might be anecdotal, but does it feel like um, the harshness of potential criminal activity has increased at all? Well, I would say for, for us, and we can only talk for the Prairie Village and Michigan yeah. space. Um, our residents are beyond supportive of our organization. Um, we drive around, and it's you see Sarah or Timmy, and they, they're at the lemonade stand. We stop, and we take pictures, and we do tours, and we let them get in the police cars. So our support within the organization from the external factors, the mm-hmm. community, is great. Mm-hmm. And I think that helps when it's time for the partnership to help reduce crime. Because it is. It's a partnership between us and the community, and we need the community support. Mm-hmm. So that, that all helps comes together yep. uh, captain ivan washington uh, 20 years here at the prairie village police department so what i mean as you try to uh, get out there and you're spreading the message what you guys are doing and trying to recruit yeah. uh, what do you want to make sure people know gosh for us i mean this is a special place i've been here over 20 years obviously i'm you know, i like where i work um, but we offer a lot of options for officers. You can live within 35 miles. We have a matching 401k. We have a private pension fund. We give um, anniversary bonuses uh, beyond ex- um, special assignments. If you want to do detective, you want to be a school resource officer, you want to fly the drone, you want to be a canine officer. I think when people think of Prairie Village or the smaller agencies, they don't realize we are still a 24-hour full-service organization. Mm -hmm. Anything that you would like to do at a larger organization, you can do it here. Um, But I like, like I said, I played football all my life. So I like the team environment here. All I I know is being a part of something bigger than myself, finding your space inside of the organization, and you 
basically you, you do what your role mm-hmm. and you embrace your role, but ultimately your role is a part of the bigger picture. And together we can all, you know, paddle this boat in the same direction. That's great. Uh, yeah. Captain Ivan Washington on KCMO. Thank you so much for being here, Ivan. No we problem. appreciate Thanks it. Thanks a lot. Great. I think he'd be great in training day, by the way. <laughs> Make training day t- uh, two. I think he'd be a natural fit. <laughs> My wife might disagree. <laughs>